Their bones say it all. Peel back a lion's and tiger's skin, and the truth is revealed. Evidence of a common ancestor close to five million years ago. Their skulls are almost identical. The wing-shaped design allows for the attachment of giant muscle, and 30 teeth line their massive jaws. Specially engineered to pierce tough hides and tear through flesh. It's the shared hardware of some of the world's top predators, the big cats. Their common, highly evolved design is the one reason they appear to be perfect. Compared to their smaller cousins, they're fast, powerful, and even more deadly. But are they really the ultimate cats? Like every predator, these animals also have limitations. When the lions targeted the men in Tanzania, they were exploiting their natural advantage. Speed. Up to 35 miles per hour. Humans barely sprint half that fast. In two bounds, the lions probably covered as much ground as the two men did in 10. But out on the savanna, a lion's speed can be a shortcoming. Surprisingly, lions succeed in the hunt only 25% of the time. One reason is that a lion can only maintain its top speed for a few seconds, while their prey can usually endure for much longer. Even this massive Cape Buffalo. Research shows zebras can accelerate and outrun a lion on open ground in less than six seconds. Gazelles do it in just four. Lions just aren't fast enough most of the time. So if lions and tigers are not 100% perfect predators, is it possible to engineer a cat that is? What would an ultimate cat look like? Would it be bigger, better? This is Sinbad a captive-bred supercat. Not a lion or a tiger, but a liger. At 900 pounds, Simbad is almost 100 times the size of a house cat, and twice the weight of a lion or tiger. Dr. Bhagavan Antel has raised Simbad since he was born. Oh, this Bengal tiger is about 500 pounds, a fully mature male. He's got a large head, big bone structure, but it's dwarfed when you see this huge liger boy. His head is almost twice the size of this Bengal tiger's. It's so long from tip to nose here that you've just got an enormous structure. The width in these huge jaw muscles and these big bones just make him be an enormous character. You're a good boy. This liger is the product of bizarre breeding. They do not exist in the wild. A liger is created by breeding a male lion with a female tiger. The result is a hybrid offspring that is abnormally large. In size and weight, a liger simply dwarfs its parents. Its massive skull alone can be 40% larger than a lion's or tiger's. They have enormous thick bone structure and can be actually the size of their mother and father combined. Enormous beasts. Scientists are still trying to understand why hybrids like ligers can become so much larger than their parents. What they do know is that ligers are missing the growth inhibiting gene that keeps them at a normal size. They only live in captivity but the scale of their predatory tools is unmatched, even in nature. Remember Sasha, the leaping tiger that grabbed prey almost 12 feet in the air? Simbad's able to reach that same height without even leaving the ground. A bizarre... Ligers share the same ancestral hardware with other big cats. The only real difference is size. Like lions and tigers, a liger's massive canines are set deep inside the skull, like giant screws. Big cats have enormously long teeth, but a lot of the tooth is actually hidden inside the skull. 
This much of the tooth you can kind of see is covered in enamel. That's how much of the tooth actually is exposed and is used for the killing bite. The rest of this is inside the skull. Deep inside the skull, it's planted in and held fast so that it's able to take the enormous torque that'll be produced by the animal biting down and then pulling back. If it had a smaller structure to it, these teeth would end up breaking off. But this is what holds it into place. Out in the wild, this bonding of skull and teeth helps ensure that lions and tigers have few rivals. Smaller cats wouldn't stand a chance in a battle with their larger cousins. Lions have been known to bite right through smaller cats' skulls. But what about ligers? With their supersized claws, teeth, and jaws, enable them to win a battle with a lion or tiger. If such a battle ever occurred, the victory would be hard fought. In a big battle between some tigers, we've seen some tigers battling away, and you'll find actually tigers that have, have died in battles with other tigers or have gone through real hard fights. The whole claw can come in and it can snap off inside here. This has the capacity to break, and you'll find claws embedded into the hides of other tigers, and you have to pull them out with a hemostat to even remove them. Because ligers are the result of human-directed crossbreeding, they've never walked the plains of Africa or the forests of Asia. It's impossible to say if one of them could even survive on the scorched plains or steamy jungles. Would a liger be a solitary hunter like its mother? Or execute the group hunting strategy of a pride like its father? Would the golden color of a lion and the stripes of a tiger be a help or a hindrance in stalking prey? And would its massive frame hinder its ability to execute successful ambush strikes? So One piece of evidence suggests that ligers wouldn't do well in the wild. Researchers suspect the liger size would be its own worst enemy. A 500 pound lion tires after just 100 yards in a chase. Thousand pound liger would falter much sooner. A liger may be the ultimate cat in size and perhaps power, but they are just too big and heavy to win the wars that big cats must wage. The biggest threat to the survival of big cats today are not genetically engineered super cats, but humans. Experts say that Africa's lions may soon be pushed to extinction due largely to loss of habitat. While in Asia, deforestation and poaching have placed tigers on the endangered list. Left on their own, the lion, tiger, and leopard have proven to be true masters of survival. And now we know why. Their entire bodies are engineered for predatory power a balance of size, weight, intelligence, and cunning. From the advanced design of the feet they walk on, to the complex engineering of their eyes, muscles, and skulls, 